yes digital product family hope you guys are well guys on this fantastic video i'm going to show you two ways to create mock-ups for etsy that are absolutely easy to do real quick but i'm going to show you two methods fantastic methods guys so stay right to the end guys but i'll be real quick guys but as usual if you love digital products you love creating researching listing on etsy and all of that mad mad stuff then please hit the like subscribe smash that notification bell and don't forget to share because knowledge is power we like to share that power you get me anyways check this out man look at this i'm on etsy as usual what i'm doing is i'm looking at these amazing look listings and look it's all about the conversion right what you gotta understand is the art of conversion if you get the mock-ups that go with the listing images then it's going to help it convert that's a fact right you gotta know this so what I like to do is I always like to do research because it's always science based. You don't do any guesswork, not with me. So what we do is we always verify, validate the ones that are doing well. So this is what you need to do. You really need to do your research for your own niche. So what you do is you put down, you type in the niche that you're in because it can be any niche. And uh, what you need to do is then you go down to the images, uh, the listings that appear in your niche, right? That's step one. Now, obviously, you're going to see all these listings and all the uh, ratings and all the reviews and all the names and all the prices, everything. But that doesn't concern us. What we need to do is we need to analyze now. So what you need to do is you need to go and get Everbee, my go-to research tool, the one I call Everbee, the one and only Nugget Finder. Check it out. Link is in my description. You can get free access to this recommended tool that I would, I would definitely use for this and for much much more but in this case we're going to do a quick demo so what i like to do is i like to go to the product analytics right i go to product analytics and i analyze the listings now what i like to find out is what makes money because that's what concerns me what listings make money what recent listings make money and then i like to analyze it and then see what their mock-ups are like right that's the art that's the skill in this so what i'll do is i'll look at my particular niche or niche whatever you want to call it and then i'll go to product analytics i'll filter down to maximum of three month old listings right let's say and then i'll go down and see the ones that are making money that are like one two or three month old listings right um so that's what i would tend to do so let me just get back and do that quickly okay so it's going to hopefully filter for me and there you go. So maximum of three months. And then I'll go down and see within the niche that I'm trying to rank for, trying to get to, trying to get sales in. You know, like this one is amazing. Look at that big bundle, huge bundle of 1,000 images, $3,520 per month. Absolute beast. It's a one month old listing. So that'd be something that I would analyze, right? So my thought process would be that. Now, obviously, I would go further and start analyzing the mock ups and see what the what the listing what they have included in the listing because obviously if it's if it's uh if it's converting then it's doing a decent job right it's converting it's doing a decent job and then what i'll do is i'll start looking at the listing you know a particular good listing and then i'll see the mock-up here's an example of a mock-up and then obviously it's got its main image as its listing don't forget a video guys check out my um video on the video how to put a video listing up on etsy it's so important. It actually can double your sales, right? That's what even Etsy say. So they got a video there. You can see the video listing, blah, blah, blah. There it is. Yeah, so we, when we analyze this, it's always good to look at what the, what, the, uh, what the seller's doing. So I always like to look at all the listing images anyway, right? I'll see what they've done. So clearly I understand what they've done. They've got the main image with the cat with the different designs that they've done and clearly explaining what how much it is and what they're doing and what they're including. A little slideshow video, right? Make sure you've got video, like I keep saying. Include exactly what you're selling. Maybe put a bit of information talking about that, for example, here's transparent backgrounds. You know, a bit more information exactly what everyone's getting and what you can use it for. But in this case, what we're doing is we're doing mock-ups. So you need to make sure you include a mock-up. Look, here's a nice simple mock-up of how you can use those images on a card, for example, right? And this goes a long way, guys. These, these mock-ups go a long way. So part of the conversion is the mock-up, right? 
So let's just analyze how much is this listing making. This listing is making $1,226 per month. It has an average conversion of 4.27, right? It's a two month old listing only. Now it is on a 50% sell, so you got to take that into account. But let me tell you something, that mock-up that is there is actually contributing to it being convert to it converting and making cash, making that money. And this is what you have to remember. You have to make sure that you do something where you have you show um, a mock-up and how something can be used, how something is going to be a scene, right? And the best listings are the ones that will have a mock-up, right? Whether it be a card, whether it be a tote bag, right? There's, there's, there's loads. If you go to really good listings, you will see this all the time. People show mock-ups all the time. Okay, and here's another bestseller. This is a bestseller, it's in demand. And another reason why it's doing so well, it shows uh, images of cats. Um, they're selling images of different breeds of cats. Uh, it's a bundle. And look, again, again, part of the image listings are going to be these mock-ups. Look, they're showing you, you know, different versions of how these images can be used on a mug mock-up, as a sticker, on a diary, on a card, you know, because they know that it's going to convert and it's going to improve their sales. This is a fact. It works all the time. Look, on a pillowcase, right? On a pillowcase, on a tote bag. Look, people will have in their minds how they want to use it. So this just reinforces how they're going to use it with these beautiful mock-ups on a t-shirt. And this is what you have to do to actually help you convert. You have to go that extra mile to, to put the image in the kind of setting that the customer may have in their minds. And that's how you get those conversions, guys. Right, so we've done that research, remember? Check out Ever Be Free Access there. So at least you can do your research and find those really good listings that have good com high conversions. And you'll find that with the mock-ups as well. Look at the ones with mock-ups and what mock-ups they're doing, just to get some ideas. Anyways, remember two methods of doing this. Now, first of all, I'm going to jump onto AI, Midjourney. And then I'm going to use Canva. So I'm going to do Midjourney and I'm going to do Canva. But they're both amazing. So check this out, right? I'm going to do just forward slash, forward slash imagine, right? Those of you that know. And Midjourney is amazing. It's those fantastic AI designs. It's not just for mock-ups. It's for actually creating designs. But what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to very quickly, hopefully I still got it, paste, right? I've just gone to paste what my prompt is. So my prompt is the actual words that I'm going to include, which is going to hopefully create my design for me. So what I've typed in is I want to basically create, first of all, a mock-up for a, uh, a tote bag, right? So I want to create a mock-up for a tote bag. So there's a tote bag, but obviously I want to do my own style because my, my thing is a little bit different, right? I'm going to create, uh, I need to create, listing images so basically i've got a bundle of these christmas dogs right bundle and i have loads of these uh, for christmas these are basically for christmas now what i'm going to do is i need to put a make a setting a mock-up setting a christmas mock-up setting so i'm going to do a tote bag but in a christmas setting right so it kind of fits so what i did was i typed in plain white tote bag mock-up in a christmas setting background with a christmas tree <coughs> with a Christmas tree. Now listen, the important thing is, I put an aspect ratio of four by three, right? Four by three. Now this bit is important as well, guys, because look, when you wanna actually put your uh, listing images up, right? The best uh, optimized way to do it is to, to use uh, a four by three um, size. So that's what I did, because that's the best sort of optimized way of doing it. So what I've done is on mid journey, I've literally typed in four by aspect ratio four by three, right? So it gives me the nice uh, size that I, I need it to be. And then I click enter. And then when I click enter, it's gonna give me obviously the four different design ideas that it's come up with through using my prompts and then see what it's saying. So hopefully it'll give me that Christmas background setting because obviously these are Christmas dog designs and I want the background to the mock-up to sort of reflect it because it will make more sense, um, which is great. Look at these. These are fabuloso. Look at this. 
Oh my god, they're all amazing, by the way. Check it out, man. Absolutely f fabulous. They're all brilliant. They're all brilliant. Now, I like, I kind of like this one. You like this one? Nah, I like this one. Nah, I like this one. <laughs> nah, I like this one. Now, sometimes Mid Journey does weird stuff and it does a bit of writing, right? You can see it. Sometimes if you regenerate, it goes, it doesn't show it, or you can actually, you know, you can actually um, rub it out, get rid of it. Or, or regenerate again, like I said. So I'm going to take this one. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So I'll go to upscale the second one. So the second one is what I like the best. I'm going to put the image right on top of the writing. So it's not going to affect it. Right, very nice. Look at that. Really nice, clear, crisp <laughs> image. It's amazing. So let me go and save this. Because I've upscaled it once. I don't need to upscale it four times because it's a thumbnail image. It's fine. I can use it as it is. You can actually, if you want, upscale it four times. But for a listing image, it's not necessary. You can do that for your own images that you're selling. Yes. Um, so I'll save it. Saved it there. Um, that's there, right? That's done. So that is my mid journey mock up. And what I need to do now is I do need to jump onto Canva to finish off the work, right? So what I'll do is I've gone to Canva. I've opened up a size of 3000 pixel by 2250 pixels, which is a good size to have, nice size to have for your listing images on etsy because it gives that that four by three aspect ratio which is good and then what i'll do is i'll upload where is it upload my um my tote bag my mock-up is it no that's not it that's some old one let me go to upload files where are we let me go to upload files Okay, let me go to upload files and then go to the recent image that I've just created. Yep, that's perfect. And it's a four by three aspect ratio, which is perfect. It's going to fit on my, my page perfectly, man. Look at that. Boom. Right? Boom. Right? Nice. And then all I need to do is I need to get my image. I'm going to get one of the dogs clip art images. Let me go down to one of the images i've created of the santa dogs christmas dogs where are you where are, there you go oh look at that so cute my so i put an image edit the photo right edit the photo come on come on come on let me edit get rid of that white background is what i need to do uh, using the background remover check out canva uh, you can check it out and have a go for free at the bottom in my description there you go to cut the background look at that real quick real real quick and then i get my image and there you go isn't that beautiful look at that look at that how's that All right there you go now i'm just going to go download it i'm going to show you how to upload it in a second but i want to do the canva one very quickly so I download it we download it as a png it's quite as fine as it is right download done now now i'm going to show you very quickly how to do the canva version let's say you're just going to go straight onto canva right so i'm going to get rid of all of these first get rid of that now all you need to do is go to elements and then you type in uh tote bag tote bag mock-up right on elements mock-up right let's see what we get tote bag mock-up you get loads of these go to photos Go back, go to photos, and what you do is you've got loads of these images which can work really well. See that one of a tote bag? I'm not going to use that. There's also even what's nice is you can actually get sort of realistic ones with people in it, and you can, you can do this as well, right? Now, the thing is, I wanted it more of a Christmassy background. Do you remember? Because mine is more specific, it's, it's more specific. So I could add this as part of my mock ups, but it would be amazing. If it was had that Christmas flavor, the one that I did in AI Mid Journey. Um, so let me see Christmas mock up Christmas. I'm going to type in just Christmas, see if it can give me anything with that uh, Christmas background. Right. So look, I'm looking at all the tote bags and there's, I can't see a Christmas angle. And this is what I'm saying Canva works really well and it's got some fantastic um, images, right? But the thing is, you might not get a specific angle that you want. I mean, I could, I could 
quite easily use this, like this one, which is a nice one, and put this as part of my, um, uh, use this as part of my, you know, images for the mock-up, right? And then I could get my upload designs, go back to my designs, and I could put the, the, the cute dog with a Santa hat and delete the background and put that on. And I can have that as part of my, I can have that as part of my, uh, you know, um, mock-up and it can be fine. Look, there you go. It works really well, right? It can work. However, I'm saying just adding that extra element. Let's say you're doing something for Halloween. You're doing something for Christmas. You're doing something for Valentine's. It would be amazing to have a mock-up that actually reflects the time of year. And this is where mid-journey has that extra bit of skill because you're able to get something actually that's so more specific, right? Look at that. I'll show you now. More specific for the time of year. The, the Santa hat reflects it perfectly. But like you can see, it works exactly the same. You can, do, you can, you can actually find mock-ups in Canva and lots of them. But I think mid-journey, um, which is amazing by Canva, by the way, but I think mid-journey gives you that extra flavor we can actually be more specific and add more elements and, and put what you like basically in the background, which is amazing, right? So let's go to image listing. And let's say you're building your listings. You're going to have your mock-up and part of the 10 images that you can put. Obviously, you're going to put a few more images first and then you probably put your... The mock-up usually goes at the end, right? So when you look at any, any listing, usually the mock-ups come a bit later. So just remember, as part of the process of doing your image listings you've got your main image first then gonna then you're gonna have your video make sure you've got video then you're gonna have all these images that explain what you're getting which is good to have and showing the images of the actual uh, cats in this case that you're actually gonna buy you're getting and then probably in the last two or three uh listing images you have your mock-ups right so that's usually the process with this um so that's what you do. Make sure you've got your images first and then put that one. But you can, you, can, you can change it around. And then what you do is you just go to add photo. Let's say we're getting a mock-up. And then let's just go to the actual finished mock-up. Click open. It's going to upload it. Lovely. Look, there you go. Lovely, 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 lovely. Okay. Beautiful. Two ways, guys. That is two ways. Um, there you go. There's your amazing image. Check it out. How does it look? Boom. Lovely. Okay, guys. Don't forget, right? If you're not sure about how to do the listing video, check out my video on how to do that, right? I actually show you how it's done. Okay. There you go. There's a listing video uploaded. I go through how you can do that too. So do check it out. Check out my other bits, how to upload big files, because you need to know how to upload those big image files onto Etsy, because it only goes to 20 megabyte max, but I'll show you a way of doing it. So if you did like the video, please hit a like, subscribe, smash that notification bell. Don't forget, I'll see you on the next video. Take care.